access to uh, excellence in higher education. So uh, the fight a generation ago may have been having access to education, being able to go to graduate school, depending on the, the color of your skin. Now the issue is having access quality in higher education and quality in our primary and secondary schools. So the NAACP is the nation's oldest and largest uh, civil rights organization. Uh, we were founded 106 years ago in New York City uh, in 1909 by a very diverse group of Americans. Uh, but the challenges have changed uh, in that uh, the NAACP led the fight against separate but equal uh, in American uh, schools and colleges. Uh, and today, uh, the issue is not merely a matter of segregation, but it's a matter of ensuring that a diverse group of Americans uh, have equal access to uh, excellence in higher education. But when you think of an organization that has 2,100 units or branches in communities, colleges, high schools, uh, prisons, uh, all the, and uh, churches, uh, synagogues, uh, labor halls, uh, and even corporations. That's the NAACP, and it represents a very diverse group of Americans today. So we have um, about 2.4 million uh, digital uh, activists, uh, many and most of whom are young, uh, people from all walks of life, from grandparents to their grandchildren, all engage in the work of civil rights on behalf of the NAACP. So one of the most important ways that one um, can advance uh, equality for all is by being a member of a college chapter of the NAACP. And here at Cambrini, we have members of the NAACP, but we don't yet have a college chapter. And when we uh, found college chapters, um, one gets to sign some kind of a charter. So I'm looking forward to signing a charter, a piece of paper, um, inaugurating, commemorating, memorializing uh, a chapter of the NAACP uh, here at Cabrini.